Hi, welcome to the Filmovis Anima channel. This channel covers Hollywood movie and celebrity news, special for you movie lovers. What if tops box office weekend? Yes it does, as expected, the live-action animated movie, if, managed to top the box office list on the weekend of May 17th to 19th 2024. If or in this movie means imaginary friends, is enlivened by Ryan Reynolds, John Krasinski, Fiona Shaw and Kaylee Fleming. While the voice actors range from Steve Carell, Emily Blunt, Matt Damon, George Clooney, Brad Pitt to Bradley Cooper. In its opening screening, if earned $35 million beating Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes with $26 million. At number 3, newcomer horror remake The Strangers Chapter 1 earned $12 million. Then, for its third week, Fall Guy earned $8.4 million followed by the movie Challengers whose $2.9 million put them in 5th place. In 6th to 10th place were newcomers Amy Winehouse biopic Fade to Black, $2.8 million, Tarot, $2 million, Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire, $1.7 million, The Blue Angels, $1.3 million, and Unsung Hero, $1 million. Next week, the competition is even more exciting because there are at least two movies that have the potential to gain profit. First up is the Garfield movie, this time voiced by Chris Pratt as the sarcastic slacker cat. Samuel L. Jackson, Ving Rhames, Snoop Dogg, Nicholas Holt and Hannah Waddingham will enliven this animated film. Second, the much-anticipated movie, Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, is finally ready to thrill the 2024 summer movies. Still directed by George Miller, the movie will star Anya Taylor-Joy, Chris Hemsworth, Angus Sampson and Jacob Tamuri as Max Rokitansky aka Mad Max. Unfortunately, it's not Tom Hardy or Mel Gibson. A.L. Pacino plays mastermind who kidnaps rich man's son, veteran actor Al Pacino will take center stage in Captivated when he plays a mafia boss in Italy. The Oscar winner through Scent of a Woman is indeed famous for his mafia films such as the Godfather trilogy, Scarface, Carlito's Way, Donnie Brasco to the Irishman. In Captivated, which will be directed by Dito Montiel, Al is accompanied by Toby Kebbell and Katie Holmes. Toby Kebbell and Al play the same role even though in different times, namely as Severio Mammoliti aka Saro, one of the leaders of the Italian crime organization, Drangheta in Calabria, Italy. Saro, who is currently an informant for the Italian police, was among the kidnappers of John Paul Getty III. The grandson of tycoon J. Paul Getty in 1973. Ridley Scott's movie All the Money in the World featured this kidnapping case, starring Michelle Williams, Mark Wahlberg and Christopher Plummer. Playing the senior J. Paul Getty, Plummer ousted Kevin Spacey who had to be fired due to the revelation of his gay sexual harassment. Captived, which focuses on the figure of playboy Saro Mammolini, will only start filming this winter. It is not yet clear whether Balthazar Getty will be invited to play or not, given his status as the real son of Getty III and Abigail Harris, who Saro has a crush on. Balthazar Getty is of course known to us as a musician and actor whose films include Young Guns 2, White Squall and most recently Megalopolis. Stallone is finally back in the movies, Sylvester Stallone has been playing less and less in movies, preferring to sit on the producer's bench or script. His absence in Creed 3, a brief appearance in Expendables 4, a cameo in The Guardians of the Galaxy, confirms the lack of Stallone in movies in recent years. But Stallone still has the desire to act again apparently. Stallone secretly just finished the thriller Armored, which he starred in with Jason Patrick. Even Stallone also entered the finishing period of the thriller Alarm with Scott Eastwood, who is known as Clint Eastwood's son. Unfortunately, the two films are not as big as Rocky, Creed, or Expendables. Alarm was directed by Michael Polish. Kate Bosworth's ex-husband, whose works are quite alarming if you don't want to call them bad. The Astronaut Farmer, 90 Minutes in Heave, Against the Clock, 
or force of nature don't sound good at all. If we're being honest, even the presence of Scott Eastwood didn't help Stallone. His father Clint had him in four of his movies, Flags of Our Father, Gran Torino, Invictus, Trouble with the Curb. After that, Scott began to spread his wings, including starring in Brad Pitt's Fury, Snowden, Suicide Squad, Live by Night, Pacific Rim 2, Wrath of Man and of course the Fast and Furious franchise. So far, a far cry from the greatness of Clint Eastwood. Isabel Furman flanked by Don Johnson and Jack Houston, cute-faced actress Isabel Furman will be flanked by Jack Houston and Don Johnson in her latest thriller Unit 234. Furman was previously known for The Horror the Orphan, The Hunger Games, Escape Room Tournament of the Champions and the upcoming film Horizon and American Saga. Furman's name would have been more prominent had the role of Cutney's Everdeen not been given to Jennifer Lawrence. Unfortunately, she was considered too young at the time, so Furman was only given the role of Chloe. Not bad at all. By the way, in the movie Unit 234, Furman plays Lori Saltair, a young woman working the night shift alone at her family's remote storage facility. She discovers an unconscious man named Clayton locked inside Unit 234, chained to a gurney and missing a kidney. She must then fight to survive a ruthless gang set on retrieving Clayton at any cost. Andy Tennant will be directing the movie. He is known for his specialist drama and comedy films such as It Takes Two, Fools Rush In, Sweet Home Alabama, Hitch or Fool's Gold. While Jack Houston is known for his remake of Ben-Hur, veteran actor Don Johnson can't be forgotten as the icon of Miami Vice, his affair with Jennifer Connelly in The Hot Spot, Harley Davidson and The Marlboro Man with Mickey Rourke, with Kevin Costner in Tin Cup, and enlivening Knives Out with Daniel Craig yesterday. Thank you for watching, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe.